Hi, welcome to this episode. Today we will explore together how to build a carbon footprint calculator based on a power app. The scenario is that you want to build an organizational app that will allow everyone to be aware about their carbon footprint. In this way, the users will be able to measure the carbon emissions that they produce by different means of travel. So when planning the next trip, they will think about it twice. Okay, so let's dive in and see the demo. So let's look at the carbon footprint calculator, the Power Apps Canvas application that I created. So what you see on the screen is the main screen of this application. We have here different means of generating uh, carbon emissions, let's say like this, maybe a flight, maybe uh, an event, yeah, where everyone has a, a household carbon footprint. And um, for today, let's take a simple example because the most of us is, uh, are using the car and I will click the car icon and this will bring me to the second screen of the application, which is practically the screen where I can calculate my emissions for uh, traveling by car. So let's imagine that my next trip will be roughly 500 kilometers. So I will click the 500 button and I can see now that the distance travel updated. I know that my car is a petrol car. No, it's not a diesel anymore. And thirdly, speaking about the fuel consumption, I'm not sure about it. So uh, I will click that I, I don't know my fuel consumption, but I know that I have a compact car. And what I will do next, very easily, I will click on calculate. And you can see also the result on the right hand side of the screen. I have 0.11 tons of carbon emissions for my trip. Of course, if I change maybe the travel distance and I click on calculate, you can see here that the number will reduce. If I will choose, for instance, also the plug in hybrid, then um, let's see what's the result. So the carbon footprint is zero. Um, well, yeah, it's zero because I don't have here fuel consumption. So let's, uh, let's put maybe the same, the compact. And now you can see also that I get uh, the tenth of the petrol uh, carbon footprint, uh, carbon emissions that uh, I produce here. Okay, so now let's go in the edit mode and see what's behind of this application. So... Um, as you can see, I'm on the main screen and on the main screen we have a title, uh, we have also a footer as a label and the body and the body contains a lot of images. As you can see, for instance, the car, if I go to the on screen, uh, on select property, you can see the navigate formula that brings me to um, the second screen, so the car screen uh, where I calculated the emissions. Um, so it's nothing fancy about uh, the screen. So as an aesthetics, I put a rectangle. Uh, what I did for it is to put no fill. Yeah. So fill is empty in order to have this kind of border. And like I said, a lot of um, images and uh, labels in order to have a title for them. Then by moving on the second screen. So here is... Uh, the magic that happens. So what you see on the screen is the title label, the back button that brings you back to the main screen. And then we have like, uh, we have actually two text inputs. Yeah. So the first text input that I have is about the travel distance. And as you can see that the value is a global variable. I defined it as a traveled distance. And actually, when I click one of these uh, labels, so I created them as a label and not the buttons, um, because I found it, I would say, uh, enough for this functionality. So what's happening when I click such a label? And if I go to the on select uh, property, you can see that I set the travel distance global variable I define with the value of each button. Yeah. And then this is displayed here. Um, 
the fuel consumption so about the fuel consumption this is uh, more interesting i would say because either you have the possibility to enter a number here let's say eight liters or a 10 liters per 100 kilometers or if you don't know exactly what uh, your car consumes as a fuel consumption then you have the possibility uh, to click this checkbox and actually if you're looking what's happening when you click on this checkbox um, you can see the on select formula that it defines a global variable called label alternative and it holds the opposite so if it's true then it uh, uh, changes or it updates to false and vice versa and this is really important this variable is used uh, for this radio uh, elements that we have on the screen and more precisely the visibility of it so actually uh, if um, this variable is false then the visibility false means that i'm not seeing this radio and extra i have this label car type which is the same practically so if i go to the visibility of this i can see that we use the same global variable in order to show or to hide this label together with the radio box. the most important aspect on calculating is um, also the the button so we have to calculate button and the calculate button if we are going and looking at the on select what we have here is um, i would say a more uh, complex formula than what we saw until now so first of all i set uh, the results variable to true because i want to show this button here and what i do next i'm also um, holding the result in another variable so as you can see i use different variables in order to have different parts of the screen showed or hidden or maybe to store some results here and if we are looking at this uh, var emissions result what's happening here i do a calculation i do a calculation between and i can show you the distance travel multiplied by the fuel consumption average of course divided by um, i'm using uh, kilometers so divided by the 100 and then i'm using some emission factors and um, we have uh, two options so either i'm not i don't know the fuel consumption so i'm in this scenario here when i have to choose a car type that uh, you also saw in the demonstration so if we are in this scenario what's happening is that i'm using some average so for the compact i have 9.5 this is my emission factor this is the average consumption i use and maybe for a mean range car this is lower or for a suv a bigger car of course this is higher but this happens only if the checkbox is enabled so it's selected meaning that i don't know the fuel consumption of my car if i know it then we are in the second scenario where where i'm using um, a local collection uh, called the collection em emission factors and practically what i'm doing here by using a lookup formula i'm checking in this collection uh, the fuel type and actually um, i'm checking from the dropbox and i'm um, uh, i'm matching uh, the the fuel type that i have here so let's take an example if i have here plug-in hybrid then in my collection i will take the uh, consumption of plug-in hybrid and i can actually show you how it works so when the app is um, initializing so on on start i'm collecting some emissions so as you can see i put for diesel petrol and plug-in hybrid some emission factors some uh, that, that are used in my calculation of course in a real world example this kind of values will not come from a collection uh, most probably they will come from an api or if you store them in your um, database or maybe in an, one of your applications by using a connector you can retrieve such values but for the purpose of this uh, very short demonstration i use this uh, collection here so in order to show you again how it works so let's put 500 
uh, I don't know so I know my consumption here let's put 10 yeah this is the average and let's pick petrol and voila I have here the result if I change to let's say plug-in hybrid and I calculate you can see here that there is a new calculation and what I did next I already um, mentioned about the calculate button but we also have a reset button so when I click the reset button as you can see there's no value here where at the fuel consumption this resets as well um, and if you want I can show you what how it works um, I don't see the calculate button now and this is also important to mention because I have to have a valid number here to calculate so let's click on calculate and basically the reset button if i'm looking at the visibility of it you can see so if it's blank so the uh, if the emission results variable is blank then don't show me the reset button but if you get a result then you show me because i already calculated it and i want to um, reset the value and basically if we're looking at the calculate visibility as you can see in order to have this button visible I need to have the text input distance traveled um, with um, a value so this means the text that a value needs to be present here or um, the drop down fill type to have a selected value so i need to have it here. good okay i hope uh, you enjoyed the application so it's a small uh, app that can be extended of the created it for the cars and i'm only calculating based on some emission factors uh, some um, emissions yeah by uh, this car type and yeah i hope it helps you make a overview of what does it mean and I wish you a great day. Bye-bye.